Welcome to the Scoop School Podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host. He once made Vegemite ice cream, and it was terrible. It was really, really bad. The ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day, ice cream lovers. Welcome to the podcast. Nice to have you here. Again, we want to thank our episode sponsor for this particular episode of the podcast, which is Electrofreeze. They have a manufacturing facility here in the United States. In fact, it's in the bustling metropolis of East Moline, Illinois. If you are ever traveling through East Moline, Illinois, you need to give the folks at Electrofreeze a call. I'll give you a bit of a tour of the factory. Hope that's okay, Electrofreeze. But it really is a very nice factory. Great people making batch freezers, soft serve machines, and all sorts of ice cream and frozen dessert business right here in the US, electrofreeze.com. We thank you for your episode sponsorship. Now, what the heck is sherbet? Can I please have some orange sherbet? There's a lot of people, even in the ice cream industry, who really don't understand what exactly sherbet is and how to make sherbet. Well, it's relatively simple. Sherbet basically has the a background or the base flavor of an Italian ice. So a water-based product, Italian ice, is a syrup uh, or a sugar-based product, sugar, water, and flavor that you're making primarily in a batch freezer. And uh, it is a very clean, uh, non-dairy product that sells very, very well, particularly in really hot days. When you're selling an uh, an Italian ice or a water-based product in your ice cream shop in the middle of summer, a lot of people will kind of migrate towards the water ice because it's just so clean and refreshing and there's no basically uh, fat to kind of glob up the tongue. So you've got your water ice base. Now, if you're making, let's say, a three gallon batch of water ice, just take one quart or one pint, depending on the background flavor that you want, of your ice cream mix and just add it to your water ice mix. So sherbet basically is and it really is not defined by the FDA. So there's no standard of identity for what sherbet is. But basically, sherbet is a water-based or, an, or a, a, an Italian ice product that just has a very subtle back note of dairy. So it's almost like a dreamsicle type thing where the sharpness of the uh, uh, orange water ice comes through with just the nice back note of cream that comes from a, just a little bit of ice cream mix. So it might be a... Uh, Uh, maybe a 90% uh, recipe where you've got 90% of a water ice base and 10% of your ice cream mix. Obviously, once you're adding the ice cream mix, it's not non-dairy anymore. So you need to be aware of that and you need to be um, very informative of your customers of that as well. Again, it's a very easy thing to make. If you're already making uh, an Italian ice product or a water-based product, just put a little bit of your ice cream mix in there. Again, it'll just give it a nice creamy note it might add a little bit of overrun or a little bit of expansion. So you've got you know, a little bit more volume with it. And it'll basically maintain the sharp nature or the strong nature and mouthfeel of the water ice with just a nice creamy back note. Sherbet. The beauty of sherbet is you can make sherbet in whatever flavor you make your water ice. Orange sherbet, watermelon sherbet, raspberry sherbet. Uh, it's generally fruit based, you don't get too many chocolate sherbets. But if you're already making water ice, throw a little bit of ice cream mix in there, mix it up, extract it out, see if you like it. Play around with that ratio a little bit. And I think you'll find that when you start putting on your menu board something like orange sherbet or lemon sherbet, you'll get some customers really kind of piquing their interest as to what is, what is the sherbet? Sherbet's a thing of the past. Not too many stores do it anymore. Well, I think it's time to bring back the sherbet. And that's the challenge for this Friday episode of the Scoop School podcast. Again, thanks for being here. Thank you very much to our episode sponsor, which is Electrofreeze. Try running a sherbet through an Electrofreeze batch freezer. It makes a great product. Thanks for uh, tuning in, folks. Keep on scooping. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.